Did Mark Zuckerberg really just announce that Meta plans on replacing its mid-level software engineers with AI in the year 2025? I'm a senior machine learning engineer at Twitch, and I want to break down what this means and what is the actual likelihood of this happening. Let's first break down where this happened. So this past week, Mark Zuckerberg appeared on the Joe Rogan podcast, where he spoke on various different topics, but one that is relevant to software engineers like yourself and me is when it came to the topic about AI and Joe asking Mark what he thinks the capabilities of AI are specifically in software engineering. Uh huh. I think is, this year, probably in 2025, we at Meta, as well as the other companies that are basically working on this, are going to have an AI that can effectively be a sort of mid-level engineer that you have at your company that can write code. Mm. And once you have that, then in the beginning, it'll be really expensive to run, and then you can get it to be more efficient. And then over time, we'll get to the point where a lot of the code in our apps and, and including the AI that we generate is actually gonna be built by AI engineers instead of people engineers. So there's a lot to break down in this uh, short 39 second clip that I played. But one thing that really stuck out to me is he specifically said mid-level engineers. And the first thing I think of is, well, what is a mid-level engineer? So I wrote this, it's what is a junior engineer and what is a senior engineer? The junior engineer is zero to two years of experience. They need help with technical tasks, primarily writing code with very little system design. Whereas a senior engineer has, you know, this wealth of knowledge, experience, and can adapt it very quickly to any code base. But then there's this large gray area in between that defines a mid-level engineer. And I think that part is really sticking out to me because when we think of AI right now, we can primarily agree that it can do what a junior engineer could possibly achieve, where you give it a task and it creates code. Sometimes that code is... AI slot, but sometimes it's actually pretty good. You may need to tinker around with it, but at the end of the day, it will be functional and it will probably achieve what you want it to do. Also, can you guys comment on what you think of Mark Zuckerberg's transformation before to this new bro techie one? I mean, I think it's absolutely absurd, but I want to hear what you guys think. Make sure you comment. Let me know. The other part that stuck out was that Zuckerberg never actually used the words replace, but he carefully said that the majority of code in meta and the code that is used to create the AIs will be written by AI, which essentially means humans are no longer going to be needed to write that code. When I mentioned this on my stream, there's very polarizing opinions where people said, yep, it's only a matter of time when AI replaces humans. But other people kind of followed what Josh Sisley said here, where try using Claude to help make a kind of complex app. Again, who knows what that means? Uh, it could be anything more or beyond a simple to-do app. And it could go south fast. You might end up with a mess of spaghetti code and bugs where Claude just repeats itself stuck in a loop. So yes, you know, I don't think AI is perfect, nor do I think AI is anywhere near the point of fully replacing unanimously all mid-level engineers. Again, don't really know what that means. However, I do want to say that I think Mark is very smart when he comes on Joe Rogan's podcast to say this. And I think how he started this sentence by saying Meta, along with other tech companies, are looking for opportunities to leverage AI in positions where they currently have humans writing code. And another example of this comes from uh, Levels I.O., where he was quote tweeting this article that says Salesforce will hire no more software engineers in 2025, says Mark Benioff, who is the CEO of Salesforce. Uh, but Levels IO says another one from today has stopped hiring devs because AI requires less people. Uh, then he says, even if this is a sneaky marketing tactic for Salesforce's own AI product, he claims that he doesn't think Mark is lying and that he really is seeing the impact of his devs using ChatGPT and Cursor to be way more productive. And if we actually head to that article here, uh, you can see that Mark Benoff says that we're not adding any more software engineers next year because we've increased the productivity this year with Agent Force, their AI kind of in-house product, and with other AI technology that we're using for engineering teams by more than 30%, to the point where our engineering velocity is incredible. 
I can't believe what we're achieving in engineering. If we continue this notion of AI replacing software engineers, I think this is increased in pessimism when we see all these new innovations come in the world of AI, whether it's NVIDIA making new chips that make it better for people to develop their own AIs or new models that's available in Hugging Face. There's this kind of increased question of, will AI actually replace software engineers? And is it becoming more and more of a reality? Uh, and one more thing I want to show you is this graph that says, uh, or that demonstrates the software development job postings on Indeed in the United States. You can see it peaked around the COVID-ish era when uh, a lot of companies are over hiring software engineers. And you can see that we have really dipped uh, in, and not a lot of job postings are uh, existing on Indeed. And this could be just that Indeed is dying itself, uh, but it's just a really nice source to kind of demonstrate the state of you know, software engineering right now. All of this leads me to what do I think of all of this? Do I think Mark Zuckerberg is right? Do I think that AI has already replaced all junior engineers? It's making its wave to mid-level engineers and eventually it will also replace senior engineers. My honest opinion on all of this is I think the software engineering job isn't going to go away for humans, but I think it will be very different due to AI. Now, I know a lot of people make the argument that SWEs can use AI tools, and we've talked about some of these before, like Cursor for your uh, IDE or uh, Copilot, uh, even things like Chat GPT or Claude, et cetera. There's so many different AI tools, and people are saying, well, SWEs are just gonna get better because they can use AI tools indefinitely. But there are also tools that actually aim to replace software engineers like Devon AI, and probably a lot more that are being created that we don't even know about by getting funding uh, through YC and all these other venture capitalists. And all of this leads me to what I think is going to happen where big tech companies will no longer have as many software engineers as they do today or had before. Now, what I mean by this is companies like Amazon, Apple, Netflix, Google, Microsoft, they're all companies that want to maximize one thing and that's profit. And they can do that through multiple different ways. And one of the big ways is to actually remove software engineers because a lot of software engineers make a lot of money. And if they can do that with like a subscription an enterprise subscription using Devon, I think a lot of big, profitable, hungry companies are going to jump on that. However, I think the shift to software engineers is going to be away from working in big tech and actually being more independent. The TLDR is software engineers are probably going to be more like modern entrepreneurs where everyone's going to be building applications, they're going to be working for themselves, and they're going to try to find niche opportunities to apply their work using AI tools and try to get people to subscribe to it, try to get people to use their app, their product, their website, and eventually maybe get someone to purchase it or get funding for it. So no, I don't think software engineering is going to go anywhere. I think it still will be a very popular field for humans to get careers, build things, and make money. I do think it will replace, and it being AI, the majority of engineers at big, at big tech companies in the coming future. And I say coming future because do I think it's going to happen in 2025? No. I wouldn't be surprised if Meta does make a crazy layoff announcement because they have this internal Devon Meta AI tool that can actually do the majority of work of some human staff they have. Um, but I do think beyond 2025 with this investment into AI, I don't think it's necessarily a bubble. I do think there's a lot of merit to AI. It's increased my productivity using the tools I mentioned before. So I do think AI has the, you know, the end goal of replacing as many humans as possible and not just in software engineering. I mean, we have Boston Dynamics um, replacing kind of humans and workers in factories with the things they're creating with all of the different robots they're creating. There's even the Tesla robot, et cetera, et cetera. So I don't think it's just a 
attack on software engineers or that we are the only ones who are going to be vulnerable to the shift in AI. So that's going to be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe. And let me know, do you think that Zuckerberg has a point and that the Salesforce CEO actually are onto something when they say AI will replace a, a humans faster than we think make sure you comment i want to know what you think um, if you did enjoy this just check out the other video where we talk about how we built pfg labs a website that you can learn how to use go for free and until next video hope you guys have a good one peace